Yeah, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy. Do so wake me. 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 What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. Do so wake me. I'm back with my new boy. Banger. And today, y'all, we are going to cook. Well, it's not like really like cooking, but it's like. Like me making something for y'all. It's like I'm just gonna be like basically a cooking vlog for y'all. I'm gonna teach y'all how to make coquito, and coquito is a Spanish eggnog sort of thing. It's like has like a lot of coconut milk and stuff like that. And what y'all are gonna need for the thing and how to make it and stuff. I use certain stuff. I make mine virgin because I'm not old enough for non-virgin. But I can still tell you how to make it because I can ask my mother or whatever. So, yeah. Stay tuned for this cooking vlog, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all in a minute. What's up, y'all? I'm back. And as you can see, we have all the stuff right here for the coquito. So, I will name this title. Y'all making a YouTube video. Y'all say hello. Say hello to my friend Tiffany. Hey, <laughs> okay. That's my friend Tiffany. She helping us make the coquito today. What I'm gonna need this is cooking with Juso Baby Part One, cause you already know your boy gotta come strong with the cooking video. So it's not gonna just be one part. It's gonna be one part, two parts, and three parts. So let's go. And these are all the ingredients. I'm gonna show y'all in a second. Stay tuned and I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. All right, y'all. So the first thing we're gonna need is a big pot and one of these to put all of these ingredients in. So now, this Coquito recipe is very simple. What we're gonna need is two cans of carnation milk. I used evaporate, well, carnation milk or evaporated milk. I say I like carnation because this is the best brand to me. But you could use whatever evaporated milk you want. So, yeah, two cans of that. One can of um, sweet and condensed milk. You can either use lechera or this one. I like lechera better, but I couldn't find it, so I just got this one. We're gonna use some cream of coconut, two cans of this, two cans, some coconut milk, leche de coco. So two cans of this and some salt and ground cinnamon. You're also gonna need vanilla extract, but I could not find any. You don't have to use it, but I, like, like I said, you don't have, like, you could just use it whenever you want to use it or however you like it. But anyway, make sure y'all rinse off all y'all caps, all y'all cans and stuff to wash off all those germs or whatever. And also, this is a additional. I use this. It's called, well, it's just like go to the store and look up coconut flakes or whatever. Use some coconut flakes. I use that for an additional boost and then I use one secret ingredient that I can't tell y'all but it's really nothing too much it's nothing like too spicy or nothing it's just like what I like but this is how you make regular coquito but without further ado let's get into the video y'all so we're gonna take our big pot right oh also y'all you're gonna need Big glasses, I don't, big glass bottles. I don't have big glass bottles, so I'm gonna just use like these mugs. Matter of fact, I'll catch you in a second. I'm gonna go look to see if I have some big glass bottles or whatever. Cause your boy needs to do this video and your boy needs to ace this video or whatever. So let's go. Later. All right, y'all, so let's go. Oh, much later. All right, y'all. So we had to go free some space from my camera or whatever. We gotta put the relay back on. All right. So let's make our thumbnail. Let's make our thumbnail for our video. All right, 
Boy, if you don't. Oh my God. Let's get into it. All right, so like I was saying, I put in the evaporated milk first. It doesn't matter what order you put it in, as long as you put it all in. So I put in evaporated milk first, and I put the two. I put two holes in it, and then I'll just dump it like this. Eventually, the coconut milk, aka leche de coco. Then we're gonna give that a little spin. Now we gotta put in cream of coconut, two cans of this. A lot of people use one can, but I use two cans. I don't know, it's just something about the consistency for me. Let's go get a spoon to put this in because this is really thick. A few minutes later. So we got a spoon. Give that a little spin and it doesn't have to be too much of a spin because we're gonna be putting this whole thing in the blender so it doesn't have to be too much of a spin 12 seconds later all right now we're gonna put in all right so you probably got lechera I like lechera better than Mongolia but I just got what I could so this is very sticky and it sticks and it's hard to get out so we gotta use the can opener and we gotta get it really good we can't like just use this like we did with the other ones we gotta get this really good and we gotta take it off and I couldn't find any I could have I had a good can opener but I don't know what happened to it so we're just gonna have to use this one it does the job still actually a few minutes later. Here it is. Now keep that spoon that I told y'all to use for the cream of coconut in handy because you're gonna need it for this too. Like it really like it really just stays. Give that a little spin. Now we're not gonna put the cinnamon in or the the pitch parts in until we put it in the blender. So keep that aside and let's give this a really good spin. Actually, matter of fact, let me go wash my hands so I can grab the camera and I can show you. Meanwhile, hey y'all. Uh, all right, so let's give it a spin. I know it looks disgusting, but. We're just gonna give it a little spin with our spoon. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a big spin. Because we're gonna put it in a blender. We just wanna keep it. Much later. So, this is where we add our salt. Now, the salt is not for like a seasoning salt, it's just to give it like an extra kick. I don't know if y'all gonna understand what I mean by that, but we're gonna eyeball it. It's just gonna be a pinch, y'all. It's not gonna be too much because we don't want it salty. Like probably about less than this. I'm just gonna take it and a pinch is going to do because we wanna taste, because we're gonna enhance the taste. And then if y'all, because I couldn't find any um vanilla extract, so y'all can add vanilla extract if y'all want, but I don't have any. So it really doesn't matter if you add some or not, but it's it tastes a little better if you ask me. Now it's ready for the blender. We finished mixing it a little bit. We gotta put it in a blender. And we have a pitcher, a pitcher to put it in. So stay tuned y'all. We're gonna, I'm gonna show y'all I'll put it in the blender. So let's go. All right, so here we go. Here we got the stuff right here. We're gonna put it in here. All right, hold on. I'm gonna have to put y'all down. Cause all right, y'all, so we're gonna do it how we was doing it before so let's go right, now we're 
we're not gonna add too much. We're gonna add it little by little. Um, hold on, yeah, I gotta go get the um, the coconut shards and the cinnamon. All right, yeah, so we are bad. We're gonna add a little bit. We're gonna eyeball the coconut shards. We're gonna put this in. And then we're gonna put in the cinnamon. Top. And then we're gonna two very boring minutes later. So it's been like four minutes, so we're gonna stop it and we're gonna put it in our pitcher. We got a pitcher and not um not a glass thing because I didn't want I didn't want to like over freeze it or nothing. But I guess it like I don't think it really matters, but we're going for our second round. It all depends, like you don't even have to put coconut shards in it, but it all depends on how much you like. I'm gonna put some cinnamon, top it, and I'll see y'all in four minutes. Meanwhile, back in the lowlands. Four minutes later, I mean, the consistency is better, so. We're gonna give it a second mix. We're gonna put it in here. We don't want it to be chunky. We want it to be nice and smooth. And when you freeze it, oh my gosh, yeah. It is gonna be so good. All right, guys, yeah, so we are almost done. We just gotta give it one more mix. Now, when I do this last mix, I put a little bit extra cinnamon. I really eyeball my cinnamon because it depends on how much I like. A few minutes later. Alright y'all, so we are done. Now the last step to do is pour this into this and put it in the freezer because nothing is better than cold coquito. You can drink it like this, but it's probably not gonna be as good. So let's go make the last step real quick and yeah, we're done with this cooking vlog. Y'all, we are done. This is all the cookie though. We're gonna put it in for tomorrow, then we're gonna drink it. Let's go, y'all. I'm so proud of myself or whatever for this doing this cooking vlog. But yeah, stay tuned for my next cooking vlog. I'm gonna do another more cooking vlog, and that's it. We are done. Whatever. Stay tuned. Like, comment, and subscribe, or whatever. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video. I will catch y'all on the flip. Peace out, Juicy Game.